Whether you're looking to explore new career opportunities or you just want to make some extra money on the side, in today's video, I've got your back. No experience necessary. So let's dive in so you can learn what mistakes to avoid as an online dietitian. The first step to starting a side hustle as a dietitian without experience is identifying what that side hustle might be. So it's going to take some time for you to think about what's in best alignment. And I'm going to give you a couple tips. You can research and brainstorm. I know us online dietitians, we love to research. So I'm going to suggest you get out that notepad and you start writing down a couple ideas. Now you might know from my YouTube channel and from our brand here at Dietitian Boss that we're big fans of alternative revenue streams. The options are endless. You can create a course on the side. You can start a membership. You can do consulting work. You can do brand sponsorships. You can do teaching and speaking. Heck, you can even do consulting work for um, different types of companies. There's a lot of different options that you can pursue. You can also do blog and writing if you like that type of work. You can monetize your YouTube channel. So I want you to think a little bit about where you want to start. It doesn't mean that's where you're going to end up. So I've worked with dietitians that started with brand sponsorships, and then they later created massive memberships. Or other dietitians that started with some one-on-one -on -one consulting that then later grew a huge brand with also a big membership. So they have a lot of different ways and price points to help people with nutrition outcomes. So I want you to not think about too much big picture, but just think about right now what would work for your schedule. Whether you're already working a nine to five, you're a student, you're a mom, whatever situation you might have, what can you start on the side? Start thinking about some options that resonate with you right now. What you need to do non-negotiable is think about your target audience. Who do you intend to serve? Is it another business? So you're going to do corporate wellness talks or would it be a consumer? Maybe you're going to help people find food freedom. Now, when I first started as a consultant, uh, I was not an online dietitian. I first started with in-person and I did teaching and speaking. And my ideal client, my target audience were other practitioners. So I worked with medical students, dental residents, and pediatric residents. And then I also worked with the 1199 Union in New York City. And I taught medical nutrition therapy topics on a very regular basis. So I was contracted thousands of dollars to teach and speak, which was awesome. And that inspired me to then take that work and put it online because there was only so far I could go, so many hours I could work before my income wall had hit its ceiling, but that worked for me when I first started as a consultant. And even before that, I did some contracting with restaurants. So I would do some analysis of menus uh, for a sustainability company that was awesome. It did require me to travel a little bit, so it wasn't really sustainable long-term for me, but it was something, it was an opportunity for me to learn and grow and just get some side work while I was working as a clinical dietitian. So I want you to think about what are some side hustles that might work for you. And I wanna share with you that when I did my first talk, I talked about lung, um, lung health, medical nutrition therapy for, I was paid a thousand dollars for one hour, or I think the first one was $500. And then the next um, talks were about a thousand dollars an hour. I had no experience. So I don't want you to think, I mean, I have a master's degree in clinical nutrition as dietitians, you know, we're all food and nutrition experts, whether you have an undergrad in nutrition or a graduate degree, we all have robust experience. So I want you to start thinking about how you can use what you have the skills that you already have and what you can start with right now. Okay. And you can build on it, but just think about what you can start with. One of my friends started with writing, um, doing SEO, like writing some ads or sorry, writing, um, for like health magazines and then focusing on working with, uh, optimizing SEO for, for health magazines and writing for SEO to try to boost SEO for some health companies. So I want you to start thinking about what are some options that you can do. Now, you know, I'm a big fan of social media because with that, you have a lot of opportunities that you can grow and build, but I want you to just think of something right now, right? We're in the brainstorming phase. Next, I want you to assess your skills. Take inventory of what you're good at. Do you have skills with writing? For me, my skills are in speaking. So I naturally gravitated towards teaching. I also like developing courses and programs. So I was able to take my skills and package them together and create programs and administer them and evaluate them. And I was able to do that for four years. And so given that that's something I like, I was able to take that in person as a consultant and bring that into my online business, which was really awesome. So I want you to take that example and think about the skills that you're good at. If you really don't like people, you might not want to run groups. It might be overwhelming for you. You might want to just focus on one-on-one. -on -one. Or if you don't want to do one-on-one -on -one work at all, then you might want to focus more on blogging or other opportunities that are a little bit that take you away from that one-to-one -one interaction. So start thinking about your innate skills, what you're good at, and what you enjoy. The last tip would be to identify a niche. 
Now you can get started with that experience even faster if you pick a focal point. So maybe it's PCOS, maybe it's sports nutrition, maybe it's women's health, whatever area you want to go into. Now we all have experience from school and you might even have more experience from a particular job you worked in. Maybe you're a certified diabetes educator, or maybe you have personal experience from having fertility issues yourself. Whatever the concern or struggle is, you package that information and that becomes what you're an expert in. And then you find people who struggle with said problem and you talk to them and figure out how you can best solve their problems by creating content that will attract them. Now, that's my favorite way to do things. That alone is not the solution. You're still going to need to build relationships and talk to people and promote yourself and pitch your products and services. But that is a great way for you to start building an online revenue stream where you can build your email list. You can start to create a membership and courses, but you will need an audience if you want to do that route where you're trying to fill your online programs. Now, if you want a video about defining your services, let me know in the comments below. I do have a video that I'll link up above that talks about packaging for group programs. I have another video on packaging your services for one-on-one. -on -one. So let me know what more you want to learn about a side hustle. And in the meantime, if you're looking for support and you want to build your business slowly on the side, we have the Academy Library, which is a month to month membership that you can join. Now, a lot of it is do it yourself. So we give you the resources, live masterclasses each month, and you will need to take the information and the curriculum along with the projects, the action plans, and you'll need to do it, but we guide you through along on the way. Now, if you're looking for more extensive support like coaching, we do open that up offer uh, depending on what time this video is released. So you're welcome to check out our website, dietitianboss.com and see what is currently open and you can hop on a wait list when we have that. We'll see you next time.